So, you want to count some inventory in Odoo. Let's take a look at how this works. Head into the Inventory app and go to Operations and Inventory Adjustments. I'm going to show you around this part of the dashboard here. It's probably pretty familiar already, but there's a few navigation things that are just good to know. This one is very simple. If you, there is a product that's not added to inventory yet, click new and it can be added here in the line at the bottom. So I'll just discard that. Also when making adjustments, of course, you just, you can type that in to make an adjustment on a single line. If you click apply, you can do that. It's going to automatically name that adjustment as just inventory adjustment. But if you want to give it a descriptive name, you can make your adjustment here. And instead of clicking apply here, oops, we'll put three. Oh, by the way, if you end up with the cursor in the wrong place, double click. And now you can just directly type. Now, instead of clicking apply here, use this apply all button at the top and it gives you an opportunity to give it a descriptive name. So if you prefer to do that, you can. Now you can also, of course, make multiple entries if you want. And if you're counting and you just want to confirm that it is correct, you just click set. Same with this one, set, just like that. And then you can apply all and that's how that works. Now, if you're doing it like this and you're not on a tablet, you've probably counted using paper and you're marking them in here, but you can count other ways as well. And you can use the, the app which we'll take a look at in a minute. Uh, so there's different ways. So let's say you wanted to do it with paper first. So you'd want to export this. Now you're going to want to probably divvy this up between whoever is doing the count. So in this case, we have 800 products in here. If we want to split it up, the most popular way to do it, I'm sure, is to use locations. Locations, it makes sense logistically because when somebody's counting, they're in one area of the warehouse. And so in our case, for this instance, they're not using locations, so that won't work. Another idea I had was we could split it up by product category, but uh, product categories in this case won't work really well. But what we could do since the product names in this case have the vendor part number at the beginning is sort by the product name and then we can just divvy it up like that. Okay, so to divvy this up, let's say we're gonna divvy it 200 per person. It happens to work out nice and evenly in this case. If we're going to do that, we could select all the ones that are on the screen currently, we get 80. So if you were gonna just request a count on all of these, you would select all 800, you could click this button and it selects them all in all pages. So let's just clear this. Oops, that's not what I wanna do. There we go. We just want to uncheck. Don't click clear. That's not what you're after. Okay, so do that. Now instead we want say 200. So you can just go here and directly type in 200 and hit enter. And now on the screen we have 200 items. So we can select 200 items like that. And we're not going to do the request account yet. We're going to print this. So if you print the count sheet, there we go. Let's open that count sheet up. And that's what it looks like. There's a space here for whoever's counting the inventory to write in the count. And then once that's done, they can go back to the computer and enter in the counts in here that match. So that's one way you can do this. Let's take a look at a different way of doing it using a mobile device for the count. And again, we want to assign the products out. We're gonna divvy it out to the employees that are going to be doing the count. So we currently have one to 200 already set. So we've got 200 items on screen. So again, we could just select all on the screen and request the count. However, for example's sake, we're only going to select a few. So let's just select one, two, three, four, and I need to make sure I have, yeah, that one in there and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, so we're gonna request a count We'll send this to the user. 
and uh, I'm going to leave the accounting date empty and I'm going to set the current value. Now setting the current value in this case if you think about it do you want the field to be empty or do you want the field to have the current amount so you can directly click and type to count and you can also use the little plus minus buttons so in case the person wants to use a little plus minus buttons it's certainly better to have the value there already and I think it's kind of nice for reference so I'm going to do that but that's whatever you want to do so now you can see that these are assigned to user whose name is admin it's those ones are divvied out to that particular person so let's hop into the app here and take a look at it okay just gonna log in and close this go to the app drawer and we're looking for barcode There it is. Okay, and we're doing inventory adjustments. In inventory adjustments, you can see that because I'm logged in as that same user, those four items that are assigned to me are in here. You can use the check mark here to say, if you counted them and there are eight in there, you can just leave it checked. If there are not eight, so maybe there's only seven, and you can just use the buttons here to adjust the count. You also have the pencil here if you want to type in an adjusted amount. Okay, so I'm just gonna discard from here. So let's say we found, well, let's look at, say there was only seven of these and the rest are okay. And if you wanna speed things up, you can use barcode scanning. So if you have barcodes, on your products and you know do then you can open up your barcode scanner you can just scan a product and when you do it will scroll right to that item so you can see it took us to 104 800 801 let's say we counted those and there are actually 13 of them so we'll just make that adjustment and there we go now there's all of the work we've done and at any point when we want to apply we can we're going to apply now so we're applying four items there we go I validated let's go back to the desktop here and I'm just going to refresh and now we can see that this 104 80010 is now at 13 items we can take a look at the history you can see the inventory counts here so we have the original one quantity was updated manually product quantity updated here so all of those counts are in here easy peasy